So if you're doing any sort of recording at home, perhaps like YouTubing, if you're doing any sort of blogging or you're thinking about getting that into that sort of stuff, even maybe recording some vocals, maybe you're doing some music stuff, what is a good microphone that you could invest in? We're gonna look at two USB microphones. They're both completely plug and play, which means you don't need drivers, you don't need to go and install stuff. You literally just plug it in and play around and start using these microphones. So we're gonna talk a little bit about these two mics and then we're gonna give you a bit of a recording demo around how they sound. So you can make up your own mind about which one sounds better. One is in the hundreds, one is around $50. Hey doing, my name is Emilio. I'm a YouTuber, blogger, I'm a tech person. I love technology. Hey, before we do get into that, you're on the YouTube machine so you need to subscribe. I know a lot of you watch this channel and I thank you for that, but a lot of you are also not subscribed. So click on that button and on the bell so that you don't miss out on anything. So here we have our two microphones. Our first one is our silver blue Yeti. This is a USB microphone, it's silver. It's got a number of knobs on the front and on the back. You can actually adjust the gain up and down. There are four different sorts of settings that you can actually adjust to achieve the right sort of sounds. So the microphone can be picked up from the front, from the back, from the sides at the same time. So there's different sorts of settings. There's also a volume, which you can actually adjust up and down for that three and a half millimeter jack down the bottom. So you can actually run some external headphones into it. There's also a mute button, and of course your main gain to actually control how much gain you're getting into that microphone. And the great thing is completely compatible with Windows and the Mac operating systems. Now this one is the more expensive mic, the Blue Yeti, but the one right next to it is a mic that I picked up not too long ago, and it is actually really, really good in comparison. This is a Matt Ono microphone. It's got a mic gain right at the front. It's got a little pop filter, which is that little cover that you see on the front of the actual microphone to stop the popping sounds like your peas, and it reduces that. And it's great for podcasting, for recording. And as you can see, it's got its own little mount, very similar to that Blue Yeti. And it just looks really, really nice. Completely plug and play. So you just plug the thing in, it just works. Compatible across Windows, across the Mac and it has a simple single gain knob on the front to easily adjust up and down. There's also USB, so you literally run the USB port on the very bottom of it, and then run it into the side of your actual computer. Now, how do each of the actual mics sound? Now, the first one that we're gonna be demoing is the Blue Yeti. Now, this one is twice, more than twice as much as the Black Maono microphone. So can you actually justify spending that extra bit of money for the sound quality. We'll do a side-by-side -side comparison and then you be that judge. So here is the first microphone. This is a Blue Yeti. It's not blue, it's silver, but it comes in silver and in black. It retails for about $115 on Amazon. Now, are you getting any of my pops? Now, you will notice that this one does not have a little pop filter on the front to sort of get rid of any sort of noise, additional noise, wind, popping, things like that that uh, you may not want to be actually recording in your videos, whatever blogging or vlogs that you may actually do. But you can adjust the gain up and down to reduce that popping sound. And if you wanna put a pop filter on the front, even better. So here is our Maono microphone. Retails for about $65 less than the Blue Yeti. Now, can you justify the cost of the Blue Yeti over this one? Now, this is brilliant. I love it. It's so small, it's so compact, it looks really professional. It does come with this little pop filter and see how the popping is. How's the bass? How's the treble on this one compared to our Blue Yeti? Now, for those who are starting out in YouTubing, for blogging, whatever it may be, this mic may be perfect for you. And it's a simple gain up and down. None of the other fancy stuff that the Blue Yeti may have, which a lot of people don't even use anyway. So what did you think? Which one actually sounded better? Was there a massive difference? Can you justify spending over twice as much for that Blue Yeti compared to the Maono microphone, which I think actually sounds really, really good. So why don't you let us know in the comments below what you thought, which one was actually better, and maybe which microphone you're using right now or which mic you're thinking about getting. Hey, that's it. Like, comment, subscribe, click on the button on the bell. We'll see you next time where we talk about all things tech.